Right, uh, we're going to take a little bit of a sidetrack from restorations for a little, well just this one really. Um, I'm going to share a little trick that I've picked up, how to put lightning into a sky, convincing lightning. Um, of course you could <laughs> draw your lightning in like that. Diddly do, diddly do, diddly do, diddly do. There you are, lightning. That looks rubbish. This little trick puts a pretty convincing bolt of lightning in any picture you want. And it's dead easy to do. So we'll get rid of that. Work on a layer. The first thing we want to do, the light, the sky there you can see looks a little bit too bright. So we're going to be working with gradient tool overlays. So one there, gradient tool to do. Um, and what new layer as well? New layer there. So if we draw on our layer from top to bottom, there we've got black at the top. That will darken the sky if we change the blend mode of the layer to multiply. Just that's just the way it interacts with the layer underneath. There you see we've got a bit of a foreboding sky there now. I won't go into how the layers combine at this point, it's because it's that would make the whole thing really complicated. And I want to keep it easy as pos. The cup of hot chocolate I'm drinking. And it's hot chocolate. Um just, just now what do we do? What's the next thing? Yes, what well, one another layer. New another layer, just an ordinary layer. You can name these if you want. It is good practice to name them just to tell you what you're doing with them, but in this case we've only got a couple of layers, so it doesn't matter. Um Yeah, right. Now we want just to draw a line across a little way like that, so we'll get this. Mm -hmm, what's that? Well, I'll tell you. This is going to be our stroke of lightning. What we need to apply to this, this is the clever bit. We need to go to Filters, Render, Difference Clouds. This will make some funny blobs appear there. That down the middle is your bolt of lightning. Totally random. If I did that again, it would be a different shape. Also, you notice I, w I went straight across with the uh, to make the layer, so the, the line goes up and down. If you do that at a different angle, you'll get the lightning at a different uh, an angle. Um, but this one's up and down. Now we need to get rid of all this around it and just concentrate on the black so we'll go to levels which is a keystroke I'm going to use the keystroke it's easy to remember it's control and L and you'll get your levels up that's a nice bell curve showing our middles and blacks and whites now we just want the black so we'll put everything over to this side and there you see we've got one lightning there You see with this as well, we've got all little bits around it, which is what lightning looks like. Do do do, do do do. We'll have got these bits around here as well, which will show up on the, the finished drawing if we don't mask them out. I'll show you how to do that. So there. We want to make that obviously inverted. So another keystroke, control and I. There, looks like lightning already. Because it's black, we'll just draw those out, get the paintbrush and draw those little bits out. Because we don't want those. There you are. Now. step yes 
this blend, we'll change the screen, which will do away with all the black and just leave you with the white screen there. Ooh. Now we've got lightning across our sky. Do we want it that colour? White's not bad, but we can't change it if you go to image, adjustments, hue, saturation, or control U. Because we're working on the lightning layer, it will just change that lightning's normally bluish. We're not getting much of it. It is going slightly blue with because it's so thin. What works better is if you press colorize there. Take it up to blue. Acceleration, that's too purple. Uh, oh, that's a nice colour for like oh nice electric blue. There you go. How's that? Yeah, that'll do. It is a bit bluey, but there you go. Um now we've got well lightning which is looking pretty realistic but we don't want it down the middle of the screen so we need to select a bit with the marquee tool we'll chop it off I'll do that again because my selection isn't very good ignore that Yeah. What I'm going to do is cut that off. So edit, cut, and I'm going to paste it back as a s separate thing because it has, it does still exist. It's on the paste board. So if I paste, it'll come back. And there it is. It came back as a new layer. So what I need to do is change that layer to screen as well, so you don't see the black. There, and I'll move this about. And because I transform it and turn it round, if you remember, I wouldn't do this with the. Um, we did this with one of the restorations. Now let's just have it straight in the grinder. Case of line the line the two forks up oh come on. Let's talk amongst yourselves. There you are, that's not bad. Control D, no, it's not. Apply transformation, yes. Yeah, look at that. You can of course mess around with your lightning, put multiple lightnings in. Um There you go, lightning. It looks realistic. 